All right, so I got a customer that said their Wii is not playing games anymore. Let's see what happens. Hear that? So you could hear it sounding like it's having a uh, uh, a lot of issues with reading that disc there, and then it brought this message up saying to eject it. No scratches, no uh, smudges, completely clean. All right, so it's not the disc; it's the uh, the Wii. Let's take it apart. Alright, so I'm going to take uh, the sticky pad off here and the sticky pad off here. Alright, so I got these two sticky pads off and it uh, exposes two tri head screws, which you can see there. It's not a Phillips and it's not a uh, flat, it's a tri head. But I don't have a screwdriver for that, so I got a tiny flathead that actually goes across it rather well and is able to grab onto it well enough to get it out. So I'll take those out. Alright so I got those two screws out using a tiny flathead screwdriver. Next I'm gonna take this uh, this rubber foot off and and take the screw out from under it. Alright, got that rubber foot off and this has a little Phillips head screwdriver in it. Phillips head screw, I mean. Take that out. And then under this cover, there's a little Phillips head screw right there I'm going to take out. Alright, with those, with those four screws out, um, able to slide this front cover off and there's a wire right there as you can see uh, it's plugged in so I got that little white plug there we'll should just be able to give the wire a tug and get that to pop out there we go I got these two side covers that just fold down and snap out like this And I got three Phillips head screws here that I'm going to take out. So just so you know, these two Phillips head screws are short. This one up here is long. Now I'm just going to pop this this black cover off. Now I'm going to remove these two uh, tri head screws, that one and that one. I'm going, to leave the, I'm going to leave the other two screws there. So I'm going to take these two pads off and see the screws under that. So I got the pads off and there's two silver tri head screws down in there. Hopefully I can get those out. So I did get those out. They were a little more difficult with the uh, flathead screwdriver, but got it. I've been using this 1 uh flathead screwdriver to get the tri head screws out, and it seems to be working okay so far. Alright, so I'm going to remove the battery here with a small Phillips head screwdriver. And then you got another tri wing screw there, and underneath this uh, this uh, little square sticky pad, there's another one. So we'll get those out. And just to show you that I am getting these uh, tri bit 
screws out with a flat head and just stick it in like like so and there it goes. Alright, so now I should be able to take the cover off. see right down in there you can see the laser lens and that's what I'm going to clean hoping that will fix the reading problem got a little war wound from this one she's a beast got my uh, got my stormtrooper band-aid on there to get me through the rest of this Alright, so I got my Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol poured out in here. Just uh, get some alcohol on the tip and run it over that uh, that lens. Just kind of put it on top and, and turn it. And then rubbing alcohol does leave a little bit of a residue. So turn around to the dry end, do the same thing. To try to get any of that residue off and see if it works. So I've tried everything I could to get this drive to read and I tried cleaning the laser lens there. Um, I went in underneath the laser lens and cleaned the, uh, the array of lenses that it has that go to the laser and I could not get it to read still so I ended up just having to buy a refurbished drive off of eBay. Um, is only eighteen dollars, so I'm pretty sure the laser, the laser lens um, assembly was bad, but the entire drive it by itself was only eighteen dollars. So yeah, I might as well just get an entire drive for for eighteen dollars instead of trying to replace that uh, that laser assembly. So at this point, I want to take the the CD drive out. Looks like there's four screws holding that in. There's one here, one here, one down in this hole, and one down in that hole. So you take those four screws out and you just flip it over. And you'll see it's held on by a ribbon cable and a bundle of wires. So that bundle of wires just pulls out. It's uh, not really just kind of tucked in there so it pulls out like that and you just unplug it this, this ribbon cable you just get a hold of the tab and flip it up and then it comes out pretty simple alright so I got this refurbished uh, Wii drive off of eBay for $18 I'm gonna slap this in and see if it fixes it Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to put Mario Kart in there and see if it works. And you'll be able to tell if it does because it'll show the Mario Kart up here 
where you see the disc. And there it is. And it's reading it. Another Mario Kart, so it's fixed now.